Welcome to our Thursday Reflection. Reading for today is taken from the Gospel according to St Matthew, chapter 13, and I'm going to read verses 1 to 9. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered round him that he got into a boat and sat in it while all the people stood on the shore. Then he told them many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly, because the soil was shallow, but when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good ground, where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty and thirty times what was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. And as always, we thank God for his word. Parable of the sower and his seed. I imagine that that's a very familiar story to most of you. We will have grown up with it from Sunday school days. And there has been much preached upon it. Normally sermons which reflect on the seed as being something sown into our own lives, the word of God and how we respond to that word. Are we rich soil? But today I want to think about that farmer the one sowing the seed. If what he is sowing is meant to be the word of God, as Jesus tells it is, then that farmer is the reflection of God himself. And that's what I want to think about. When we know a particular passage so well, it's difficult to put ourselves into the shoes or the sandals of those who first heard it. But let's try. Remember that for the most part, they were country people, fishermen, farmers, shepherds. They will have seen farmers sowing their seeds many, many times, but they've never seen a farmer like this one. These, those first listeners will have either laughed or thrown their hands into the air in horror at what he was doing. Who ever heard of a farmer throwing away his precious, costly seed in this way, casting it amongst weeds on the footpath or on stony ground? He must be mad. But Jesus tells us that that's what God is like. He is not careful. He doesn't hoard his seeds. He doesn't plant safely in tiny areas where he knows his seed, his word will grow. Like that farmer who indiscriminately sows seed in every kind of ground, God offers his word to every person, regardless of their apparent potential for accepting it. And we see this in Christ's ministry. He came to all to tax collectors and sinners, to women and children, as well as to men. And on Good Friday, we are told that he died once and for all upon the cross. And this parable takes us beyond Good Friday to Easter Sunday, beyond the failure of thin soil, of weed-choked soil, or of stony ground to the promise that God's kingdom will come, will bear fruit, and that all will be well. This is a message we need to hear. As the world lurches from crisis to crisis, as the church lurches from one problem to another, we often lose sight of that promise and fail to see all the good around us. So here's the good news.
God knows what he's doing. And his kingdom is already bearing fruit if we only have eyes to see and ears to hear. We mustn't dwell on the negative, which it's so easy to do. But look at the positive. Dwell not on the failures, but on the successes. Witness to the generous gifts given by God to be shared by all. And let us be amongst those who continue to bear fruit in our own lives. And as disciples, sow the seed for others. Oh yes, with a clear vision of the world's fickleness and a willingness to sometimes fail. But with hope, resilience and the deep, deep trust that by God's grace, some of our work will bear fruit. So let us pray. Father, help us to see you as a loving father, a generous father. Help us to count our blessings and following your example, to share those blessings with others. Amen. Please keep safe, take care and God bless.